today and today we're going to have a game of Saints Dragon on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum um, originally I had this on the Commodore Amiga it's a good game but I found it very very difficult when I played it recently um, played the Commodore 64 version not so long ago that was good the Amstrad CPC version well let's not talk about it shall we um, now let's see what it's like on the Spectrum and a test run of it of course so I'll get an inkling of what it's going to be just to you know see if it works um, you can't for some reason I can't use joystick I have to use keys which is a good thing because I prefer to use keys anyway right let's get into it so it's a tape version this is obviously being spectacular it skips all the tape loading and it's a 1 to 8k game only so if you've got a 48k spectrum you're out of luck I don't unless there is a 48k version I don't know I can only find the 1 to 8k version I'd rather play the 1 to 8k version to be honest with you because you've got the nice AY sounds that goes with it no music surprised there's no music um, throughout the game but you know that's not that's not a problem perhaps you can turn the music on I didn't look at the menu oh right so you can use your tower to defend um, well protect yourself because it doesn't matter if the tower gets hit that will never get hit well it gets hit but it, ne it, it doesn't destroy you don't lose a life but only if you get the head if they, it's, it's the head then you lose a life ah right now so you do get a generous amount of lives in this game well I don't know what was spectrum version you might only get three um it's playing pretty good it's playing pretty well actually nice nice large sprites and the graphics are pretty detailed on the main sprite I think there's a little bit of slowdown going on here and there oh fuck it nice sound effects going on the Amstrad version it might have looked it not look quite decent actually but the game had so many problems oh, fuck it continue so you get continues in this version okay the problem with this game is it's like this with every version it's a it's an arcade game when you lose a life you get put back to the beginning or it's checkpoint based you gotta get you gotta progress quite far to get to a certain checkpoint where you lose a life that's where you start from you know I don't like games like that I rather when you when you lose a life you continue where you leave off that's how a game should work um, I'm not doing very well here am I <laughs> maybe because I keep chatting away but that's how I do my gaming reviews Um, let's have another continue. Right, let's see if I'm, I can at least get to the um, on the Commodore 64 version, the Amiga version. I can at least get to the end level boss, which is a flying cow. I can never get past that flying cow, but I could get there <laughs> eventually. I'm not having no luck with this version. I'll be a little bit more tougher. No, I think it is. I don't know, but it certainly looks very nice. And it's worth, definitely, oh, fuck it, definitely worth a go. See, it's got more, not a lot, a much, much larger sprite than the Commodore 64 version. But the Commodore 64 version did really play nice though. Oh, what am I doing? Hang on, you can't even put your name in for some reason. All oh, right. Oh, fuck the name. It's bullshit anyway. Don't know why you can't fucking put your name in uh, 
with the keyboard. But there you go, it's an arcade game, they're trying to replicate the arcade feel. Even by putting your name in that stupid arcade style, which I, I find pointless. Ooh. Oh bloody hell, my sprite got lost then. Here's a little bit of slowdown. Oh, there you do notice the slowdown when there's a lot going on the screen at once. There is slowdown. Not as bad as the Amstrad version though. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Look at this lot, look at it. Oh, God. Fuck it. It's going to put me right back to the beginning again. Oh, is it? I don't know. Oh, that was close. Yeah, you know, it's, it's not much. It's like the, the Amstrad. It's, I think there was a little bit more playing area on this one. The Amstrad version was just horrible. There's not a lot of playing area on this version because the sprites are quite big. I mean, they could have used. Maybe they could have used the entire screen, but maybe that would have caused more slowdown. Perhaps that's why they had to limit it to a little screen. I'm not doing very well on this version. I think this is a little bit more tougher than the, the Amiga version and the Commodore 64 version actually. Maybe because you had a lot more screen. I said the Commodore 64 version, the sprites were more smaller. So that's probably making it a little bit more playable. Yes, the Spectrum version has really nice um, sprites, but I think the sprite is a little bit too big for the playing area, I don't know. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Really, we have, I don't know, saying that, because really, you just think of the head section. That's the only thing that can get hit, and I'm not doing fucking well on this version. Don't know why I'm not doing well on it. Oh fucking hell! I'm sure there's more title with the lives. You don't get as many lives on the Spectrum version. Because usually you get five lives on I think you've got five lives on the Amiga version and the Commodore 64 version. This one you only get three. Can't remember the Amstrad version. Well let's not as I said, let's not talk about the Amstrad version. <laughs> that was just pure shit. Could have been a good version, but no, it was pure shit. And this was coming and this is coming from someone that owned an Amstrad CPC 464 back in the day. But I never owned a game back in the day. See there's a slowdown going on here. Or why did I just imagine? Oh, hang on, we're getting to this tiger stage now. Are they gonna Oh it does, it jumps on this version! It jumps! They couldn't achieve that. They could not achieve that with the Commodore 64 version for some reason. Ah, oh, fuck it. At least I've got to that part of the jumping tigers then. So at least they jump on the common on the Spectrum version then. Yeah, so um, it's not a bad version. Um, it does suffer from a bit of slowdown. Um, maybe they could have made the screen a little bit bigger, but graphic-wise, it looks pretty good. It, it does. This it does play pretty well um, on the Spectrum. 
Um, I honestly, it does seem a little bit more trickier, to be honest with you. Um, I honestly would say I would probably, out of the 8 bit versions I've played so far, I would probably go back to the Commodore 64 version. Re reason why, because it, it was a lot more of a screen, it did run a lot smoother, the sprite was smaller, so it was a, you got more of a playing area. Anyway, but that's just me at the end of the day. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Till next time. Till next time. Goodbye.